Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on a button that cycles through different animations uh, which can be used to open and close different doors or indicate uh, particular choices in a puzzle. Uh, let's get started. First we're going to put down a button for the player to push to send out a message. So we've gone down and put down a numpad and we're going to give it a button behavior and we're going to change the range to 100 so it reaches uh, as far as we need it. Uh, and the message we'll send out is cycle. So each time the player presses E at this button, the message cycle gets sent out. Next, we're going to put down this cute little puppy or Arctic Fox, and we're going to give it an animation decoration. Uh, we're going to make the idle play infinitely on start and we'll make it interruptible. This allows us to change the animation at any time. Next, we're gonna put on an animation. For this example, we're just gonna use run. We're gonna play it infinitely and it's gonna be interruptible, but we want it to play it when we receive a message. That mes message will be play.1. Cool. So when uh, play.1 is sent, this uh, animation will play. Uh, but this sends out the message cycle. So what we're going to do is put down another numpad or a logic asset, whatever you like to use. And we're going to give it a message broadcaster and we're going to give it a toggle component. We'll go ahead and edit the logic. And we're going to make this broadcast to everyone, but we want it to wait for a message. And that message will be cycle. When it receives the message cycle, it will send out message play.1. Uh, and we'll want it to be on at the beginning of the game. So we'll go ahead and test that out. So when we press E, you can see the animation now plays. If we press E again, nothing happens. We got no uh, new message to alter it. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to turn off this toggle with the message it sends out. So it sends the message to turn on the animation, but it will also turn itself off. Excellent. Now we're going to click Control D to duplicate this asset. And we want this to be off at the beginning. So we're going to turn off the initial state. And we want it to turn on with the message play.1. So what's happening is the message play.1 turns on this animation, turns itself off, and turns on the next one. And the next one will listen for the same message cycle, but it'll send out the message play.2. And what you can do here is with this one animated, you can do um, add a idle animation. It will play infinitely, it will be interruptible. And we want this to turn on with the message play.2. Cool. So it will go back to idle mode um, when play.2 is sent, which is sent from this one, which is sent from the message cycle. We'll press Control D and duplicate our Arctic Fox. Um, and we want the run to turn on with play two. And we want this to turn back to idle when play three is kicked in. So if we go ahead and test this out, we press E on the button, it plays the first one. If we press E again, it plays the second one. If we press E again, nothing happens because we need to cycle it. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this puppy again and we're going to make this one play with play three and make this one go back to idle with play four or we can just say play one and we'll make that cycle so we're using three so we'll go ahead and turn this off with play two so when a message play two gets sent it will turn on this animation uh, turn off that animation and turn itself off we go ahead and press Control D. Um, and we're going to turn this one on now with uh, play two. And it sends out the message play three. And it will turn off this one uh, with play three as it turns itself off. Cool. And then when play three is sent, we want it to turn on uh, the first one again, so it cycles. So play three, we'll turn this one on. And I think that's it. We just need to set up this one. So this one's play three. 
message to play is play one, all looking good. Let's test that out. So if we press E, and then press E, and then press E, and each time you press E, you can see it cycles through each one. Now, this doesn't have to be just for animation. Uh, it can be for doors opening. Um, it could be for activating different spots on the map uh, to indicate to go this way or something's turned on, uh, things like that. Good for puzzles as well. Hope this has been useful. Have a great day.